Today I'm going to parse two new words. The first of which is denial, which Google defines as action of declaring something to be untrue. So denial is an action and it's a declaration of something to be untrue, not true. When we pick the word apart, we see DE means no in Latin. It's a negative. They define it as away from. The next part is neger, which is to refuse, to say no. And then the last part, al, is a condition of, which is contract. So what denial really means is a no refusal contract. You're not refusing anything. There's no denial in the sense that we learned it. It means the opposite of what I thought it meant, which lists this word as an oxymoron. A simple way to just say this would just be to say something, a claim of being false. Easy. Why do you need to say something like untrue? Just say false. Simple. The next word is awake, and this is a good one because Google defines awake as stop sleeping, wake from sleep. They use the correct positive performance word in their own definition, but we'll get to that. So A in Latin is away from, it's a negative, means no. Waken is Proto-Germanic, comes from the root, the pi root wedge which means lively and strong. So awake means away from being lively and strong. It means you're not lively or strong. The young people today like to use the, the term, get woke. Are you woke? Well, no, I'm not woke because woke is past tense. I'm here now. And that's what the language robs us of, the now time jurisdiction. And through these Parse videos, I'm trying to convey to the viewer how to get back into the now time and to get rid of these no contract words. What's another word for awake? Well, right off the bat, they tell you what it could be. You could use this word, wake, which means lively and strong. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this, feel free to contact me at the email address I include in the description below the video. I operate in the private and the confidential. If you like this, press like, share, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.